The former health secretary, Matt Hancock, has described the leaking of thousands of his WhatsApp messages written during the height of the COVID pandemic as a massive betrayal and breach of trust. He says they were released in a, quote, biased account to suit an anti-lockdown agenda. But the journalist, Isabel Oakshot, uh, who revealed the messages, says uh, she's acted in the public interest. They suggest Hancock pushed to close schools during the pandemic, while the education secretary at the time, Sir Gavin Williamson, wanted them to stay open. Our political correspondent, Jonathan Blake, has more from Westminster. The impact of the pandemic on education. We are keeping that mask on at all times during the day. Pupils and teachers wearing masks, schools closed to limit the spread of COVID. Big decisions under new scrutiny. The journalist Isabel Oakeshott, a critic of lockdown measures, was given access to Matt Hancock's WhatsApp messages to help him write his book. She's since passed them to the Daily Telegraph, breaking a legal agreement. This is about the millions of people, every one of us in this country, that were adversely affected by the catastrophic decisions to lock down this country repeatedly, often on the flimsiest of evidence for political and reasons. Yet you helped Matt Hancock write a book justifying uh, all why, those very decisions. Why? Why? Because I wanted to get to the truth of it. Matt Hancock accused her of betrayal. In a statement, he said there is absolutely no public interest for this huge breach. All the materials for the book have already been made available to the inquiry, he said, which is the right and only place for everything to be considered properly and the right lessons to be learned. He added, as we've seen, releasing them in this way gives a partial, biased account to suit an anti-lockdown agenda. In late 2020, Sir Gavin Williamson, then Education Secretary, argued for schools in England to stay open. Mr Hancock had wanted them closed. An exchange appears to show him pursuing that approach. I want to find a way, Gavin having won the day, of actually preventing a policy car crash, he said, when the kids spread the disease in January. Adding, for that, we must now fight a rearguard action for a rational policy. Weeks later, the Prime Minister announced schools in England would close as part of a lockdown. Day by day, new evidence was emerging as the scientists were learning about this virus. And from that new uh, that, that experience and those lessons, we were then taking decisions about what to do in schools where, you know, eight million uh, children were in very close quarters. But we did always want to do everything we could to keep schools open. Right from the start, for me, it became clear that children's well-being just wasn't one of the high priority considerations here. But there hadn't been the uh, remedial action put into schools to be able to mitigate any problem coming down the track. Other messages appear to show Matt Hancock and Gavin Williamson discussing teachers' access to PPE. Sir Gavin said some will just want to say they can't, so they have an excuse to avoid having to teach. Later, Matt Hancock congratulated him on a cracking announcement on exams, adding what a bunch of absolute asses the teaching unions are. Sir Gavin Williamson has said in the earlier exchange he was responding regarding unions and has the utmost respect for teachers who work tirelessly to support students. Private discussions, now public, casting new light on decisions with huge consequences. Jonathan Blake, BBC News.